this will be very controversial. Other religions, other than Christianity, worship demons. Really, truly powerful spirit beings, fallen angels created by God in league with Satan. The Bible says elsewhere, masquerading as angels of light, performing counterfeit signs, wonders, and miracles. You need to be very careful that you are not just spiritual, but Christian. Because spirit means angel. And there are angels who love the God of the Bible and angels who love Satan and join in his rebellion against the God of the Bible. Therefore, to simply plug into the spiritual world is to potentially plug into a demon. The Bible says this in both the Old and New Testament. So I'll give you one example. In Deuteronomy 32, 17, we are told they sacrificed to demons that were not God. They sacrificed to demons. Old Testament people who did not believe in the God of the Bible went through all kinds of spiritual ritual, but they did so to demons, not to God. The New Testament declares in 1 Corinthians 10, 20, what pagans sacrificed they offered to demons and not to God. I do not want you to be participants with demons. Again, I'm not saying that other religions don't have powerful spiritual beings they worship. And I'm not saying that they don't have powerful spiritual experiences. But I'm saying that its origination is not the God of the Bible, the Trinitarian God of the Bible. It is a demon. I believe that Allah is a demon with the name Allah. And he's different than Yahweh, the God of the Bible. When you see the bumper stickers that say, you know, love your mother earth, there is a demon named Mother Earth. There are demons who pretend to be God, want you to worship them as God, and if you're just religious or spiritual and not Christian, you could be participating with demons. And my fear is, out of love for you, some of you already are. You say, but I have all kinds of spiritual power and experience. Yes, but test the spirits, First John says, because not every spirit comes from God and not every spirit honors Jesus as God.